Hey guys, this is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to look at gaming and how much bandwidth it actually uses. We get a lot of uh, common misconceptions that gaming uses a lot more data than it actually does. So in front of you, I've got a Pepwave Max 700. Uh, this is the interface there, of course with my laptop monitoring everything. Basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna launch my PS3, we're gonna show some real-time data usage, I'll game for about an hour, and we'll take a look and see how much data we've actually used here. So we do have a couple features on the Peplink products there that are highly useful in tracking this. So we're gonna look at the real-time uh, data usage. So let's go over here. And as you can see right now, I don't really have anything going on, so I'm not using any data really. And if I go back up, I'm going to click on daily, and we're going to select today. Now I have a bunch of DHCP reservations set up here. Since I haven't turned on uh, my PS3 yet, we're not even going to see that. It's only going to display uh, devices that are currently on the network there. So let's get back out of here. All right, and I'm gonna go back into the real-time usage. So just to give you a point of reference, about 7.43, so we'll game till about a quarter to nine here. All right, so I'm gonna go down to WAN 1. If I zoom out, you can see my TV in the background that's off right now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the PS3 on and the first thing of course it's gonna do is it's gonna start uh, loading PSN and we should see it start uh, using a little more data as it downloads my friend list and the avatars So it looks like I just signed in there. You can see it's starting to peak up a little bit there. And this is really where you're going to use the most data when you're logging in for the first time to load all your friends and the graphics and basically if you're looking to download game patches, updates, etc. Uh, it's just downloading avatars right now so it'll probably pick up a little bit but it'll drop off here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Modern Warfare 3 here. <clears throat> so that's going on in the background. And we're still getting uh, about 4 meg as it loads everything. All Warfare. Okay, so just getting everything loaded up. Go back here. Now I'm going to play Ground War. You can see it's starting to search for a match right now. So notice how it's already uh, going down quite a bit here. Now it looks like I'm just going in. I'm going to start a timer on my iPhone. Timers start it here for an hour. We're going to play a session. I'll leave this run for a little bit so you guys can hear it kind of in game. Uh, then we'll pan to the end of the hour. We'll look at our We'll look at our daily data usage and see how much uh, bandwidth we actually transmitted on both send and receive. going to do a quick voiceover because I wanted to mention that these features that you see here, the real-time charts, uh, the daily tracking or monthly tracking, are available on all Peplink products as well as the Pepwave Max 700, everything from the Balance 20, 30, which are the lower end, Enterprise, 
or enthusiast connections. Fortunately, we jumped into a game at the end, but I'm going to let this run out. Uh, we'll take a look here at the end and see what we get. Okay, guys, so I just finished my sixth match there. Now, you can see my average was about not even uh, three-tenths of a meg down, three-tenths up. My peak was 1.2 meg down, uh, one-tenth of a meg up. I've actually still got the game going on in the background here. I just finished around. So now let's, uh, well, if we look at the iPhone, I mean, we got about a minute there. If I zoom up, see it's about 8.45 there. All right, last thing we're gonna do here is we are gonna take a look at the data. Now that I've turned my PS3 on for the day, we're going to click on 1214. Just turning that down. Alright, so I'm going to click on today. Alright, so we got my clients here. Let's find the PS3. Alright, PS3 has an IP address of 10.0.0.16. All right, hold on a second here. That particular client in one hour used 14.83 megabytes uh, download and 13.7 up. So even with a five gigabyte data cap, you can see that's a lot of gaming time. Now, this is practically an hour, and this was playing all ground war with 18 person. So, I'm going to go ahead and break that down, and we're going to see exactly how much data that's going to get you. So, Modern Warfare 3 was about 30 meg an hour. So, a 5 gigabyte account, that's 5,120 megs, or a 10 gig account, 10,240 megs. So, that's about 170 gaming hours on. 5 gigs and 340 hours on 10 gigs. Now this isn't factoring in any game patches or updates so you'll have to consider that as well for your usage but this gives you just a basic point of reference to see how much gaming is actually going to use data wise. Now games will vary so you can use products like Peplink or even Cradle Point does have a basic uh, bandwidth monitoring feature. It's not as advanced or it doesn't track individual connections so you can see exactly how much each of your consoles is using.